In 1984, when Elias Dinner opened its doors, one of its failures occurred that left the restaurant bankrupt. Elias had supposedly moved from his stage at night for no reason and went to the power room. Someone mysterious appeared out of nowhere. A camera saw what happened. The men disappeared. The other animatronics were destroyed. The police arrived at the scene and began to investigate the chaos. They saw their lies begin, began to spill liquid on his head. The restaurant closed its door forever. In 2014, a restaurant called jo Joaco Dinner opened its doors. The restaurant attracted a lot of attention as it looked like a restaurant 20 years ago. The restaurant was quite famous, but it did not last. You mean 30 years ago? 19, 2014 take away 1984 is 30. But anyway, the children said they had nightmares with animatronics and beings in black, losing reputation in the restaurant, causing it to close its doors forever. What? Year 2024. That's next year. Joaco presents. Am I supposed to click it? Oh yeah. Warning, this game has bright lights, l loud sounds, and loud sound jump scares. Please play it carefully to enjoy. Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome to Five Nights at Joaco 3, the end. And now, wait, what's this? Extras? Why is extras here? I... I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Let's go back. Alright, so... I guess let's hit a new game. Oh god, so they're half shadow, half... Oh no. Wait, is that... Is that... Wait, is that window from the second game? Or... or no, is that window from the first game? Oh no, are we going back to the... First location? Let's... Oh. Shift. But... Shift click. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, I have to shift and click, I think is what it meant. Night 1. 12am. See what is going on in this Joaco game. Third game is... Oh. Rachel. Hey, Michael. I'm here in Joaco dinner. So what do you want to want to tell me about the animatronics? Well, what I wanted to tell you is that I did some research on animatronics before you came in. And I found a panel on Joaco that resets him and sends him to his stage. Use it as a method of defense if it is in your office. Okay friend, remember that it is a promise. I stay until 6 in the morning and you arrive at that time. Okay. Okay bro, good luck. Interesting, okay so that was telling us how we're going to defend against Joaco on this time. Oh, Ghost Joaco. He appears in the stage, moving towards your office. And when he is at the right side of your office, flash him and use the Joaco panel to send him away. Alright. Sounds interesting. Uh, how do we go next? Enter. Alright. Oh! This is the first location. Oh, this is taking inspiration off of Five Nights at Sonic's 4. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, what? Oh, what does that mean? Oh shit, oh no, what does the Joaco panel mean? He's not here. What? Oh no, he's moving. Wait, I flash him? Wait, so I hold the camera on it? I'm in another camera then. I am so confused. But he's over here right now. Oh, Draco's blue? I thought he was green in the first game. Oh, we're already at 1am, alright. That's good to see. Oh gosh, yeah, this game's gotten some decent amount of inspiration from Five Nights at Sonic's 4. This door is just closed, so I guess no one can come from the left side. What is that? How do I do with the Joaco panel? I have no clue. What the fuck? 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, um, I'm scared. Oh, he's over here. Alright. Where is he going? Why is he going to the left side? Why is he not going from here to here? That'd be... Oh god. Okay, he's on the left now. The door's closed, so I shouldn't have to worry about anything, right? The game told me to look for him on the right side, so I shouldn't have to fear about anything, right? I shouldn't have to. He can't go through the door, right? How is the Joaco panel supposed to work, though? That's the thing I'm confused about. He told me to flash him and use the Joaco panel. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to flash him and then use the Joaco panel to set. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What is it? What? What? Is it? Uh. Uh. Uh, did it? Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Flash him? Right? Flash him? Oh, reset complete. Oh. I sent him back. Um. Uh, I guess I did it. Wait, so the flash him's bullshit? I'm just supposed to send him back. Wait, who's that? You guys see that? Who is that? He's lost all of his eyes. Oh, we got Elias here. Oh, who's this? It's like an old Joaco. We got Elias back here. Oh, uh, we got these two. Oh, gosh. There's so many animatronics in this location. It's just not good. Okay, so we got one, two, three. Could be a mixture of animatronics. Five, six. Oh no, those four, five. Oh no, there's only five. Never mind. There's not that many. They all look kind of badass. What What is this supposed to imply, though? Because all these characters are like half shadow, half themselves. So I'm thinking in the fourth game they're going to be full on shadows, all of them. And what is this implying? I don't know. But this is. This feels like this heavily taking lore off of the Five Nights at Sonic series, where for Or Origin Sonic, he kept melting into a Shadow Sonic throughout the games. But I feel like that's where this is getting inspirational lore-wise. Oh, rip. Burner. Hey, buddy. So now I've got to wait for him again. To appear, then I can use the Joaco panel. Maybe it's Joaco, Joaco or something. I don't know, because I'm pretty sure the name's like Spanish or something. I don't know. That's a night complete, but I say Joaco because it, it's just what it looks like, English-wise. I'm probably announcing the name completely incorrectly. Oh, oh, we're loading a mini game by the looks of it. Oh, let's see what's going on here. All right. Oh, where is Shadow? Oh, this guy seems familiar, but I don't remember who. Found Mummy. Found Mummy? I didn't found them yet. I'm pretty sure the game's supposed to say find Mummy, but... I understand it, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I understand. See, that's, th that's also a thing with people who... has English as, like, you know, their second language, their third language, all that. They'll say, oh, sorry for my English, but guess what? I don't care if your English isn't top-notch. As long as I can understand your English, it's good enough. It, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be 100% correct with everything you say. Oh my god! Oh, that was something. Okay, well, let's continue on to night two. See what's going on with this game. Night two. But yeah, continuing on, yeah. You don't have to be a pro at English. Because, I mean, I feel like for any other language, as long as you can understand what someone is saying, that's really the best case scenario, I guess. 
Anyway, Michael, I have to tell you something. I have seen that Lucas is blind to the dark. He cannot see good. Alright, which one's Lucas? Use the lamp to avoid being seen towards him. Use the lamp. The lamp. Alright, dude. Good night. Good luck and good night. The lamp. <laughs> Excuse me. Cause I, we only have a flashlight here. Oh gosh. Oh, Lucas is the, the red one. I see. He appears in the Lucas Cove, moving towards your office. And if you hear a metallic footsteps, turn off the lamp to avoid him. Okay. So, when do I know? Oh, this is the lamp. Oh, okay. So if I hear metallic footsteps. All right. Sounds good. Oh, even the the time up here looks like the Finance of Sonics 4 games 1. Okay, so how do I know when Muka, M Mucus? Mucus? I mean, how do I know when Lucas is gone and maybe moved across the window? Do I stop hearing metallic footsteps? Is that the cue? Okay, I had to make sure. If, I wanted to see if I could use the camera while in the dark, but I cannot. Fair play. But I'm, I'm really trying to think before we get any law. What the fuck? What? Uh, I... I turned off the lamp, like it said. Oh, it sends me straight back into the night. Oh, no. I, I need to see the tip again. Because I turned off the light. So I didn't see him in the cove. He didn't leave the cove. So why did I die? I, I turned off the lamp. Why did I die? Oh, we got the Among Us spin from the first game. Oh, there he is. Oh, he went from this way, not this way. Sneaky little shit. I see you. Okay. I think I'm good. I'm not too sure. And I'm gonna take it as, since I haven't died yet. Yep, okay, I survived. I guess I just gotta be quicker about it. Okay, so I think as soon as the footsteps stop playing, you can turn back on the lamp. Alright, I had to experiment with that at least. I had to know when I could turn off the lamp. I'm gonna turn on the lamp. Alright, at least we know that. So that's good. Okay, he's nearby. Why do I have shivers on my leg? I do not know. There's nothing for me to be afraid of. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe I'm a bit cold, I don't know. And I just don't realize. Okay. Send you back. There you go. You're back on your stage, you loser. What's that? I don't even know. Alright. Oh, look at this, uh, 6, oh, camera 6, 2024, 20, positive. How about negative? How about negative? That's, you're discriminating against negative. Wow. 
He looks like the fucking... It's not Deadpool character. Sledge from Teen Titans Go. I think is his name. Sledge or something. I don't know. But the guy with the... With the black and orange mask from Teen Titans Go. That's what this guy looks like with his eyes. Okay, we should be good. There we go. Nice and good. I see you over there, Mr. Joarko. So apparently these are supposed to be ghosts as well, according to the things that get brought up before the night, that these are supposed to be ghosts, which is very interesting. How are these supposed to be ghosts? Because they're, they're in physical form. So how are they ghosts? That doesn't make sense. They're in a physical form. Oh, is this maybe the, maybe those are the ghosts controlling it. So they're only half controlling, you know, in this case, Joako is half controlled by a ghost. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to figure out by progressing through the series. Oh, I was having a trouble there, turning back on the light. We're good though. All right, we should be hitting 6 a.m. soon though, so that's good. All right, you should be walking across. Yep, that's Joako, so we're good. There's nothing to worry about. Trust me, there is nothing to worry about. There is nothing that can kill us at this point. We're gonna be hitting 6 a.m. before anything else attacks. There is no issues. Hey, Joako. There's no issues. Watch. Never mind, I guess there is an issue. Fair play. But there we go, 6 a.m. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, game creator. Means a lot. Yeah! Loading. Cutscene. Well, not a cutscene. Minigame. Let's see what's going on in this minigame. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. Found. Okay, find Spitty. Or Spidey. What is it? Chess pieces? What? What? Oh, am I supposed to dodge them? All right. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to dodge them. Fair play. Okay, I'll just go along here. Goodbye. Who is this top hat guy again? I'm actually getting really mad. I'm trying to remember who it is. All right, let's see who's around here. Am I going the correct direction? Move with the arrows. Yeah, no shit. Is there anything around here? No, there's not. I'm just that that good of a player at this. I, I'm not even hitting anything. I'm just... I'm him. Oh, there he is. There's Spidey. Who are you? Who is Spidey? That looks like him, but who is that? Hello. End the minigame. Right. Okay, well, as you guys know, when I play through fan games, I do two nights, two nights an episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.